Hello, we wanted to uh, add a new video to our collection of videos on uh, mobile ArcGIS, our mobile ArcGIS viewer. This is running on the iPad, this demo. We've actually built this uh, application using the new Adobe um, Air and uh, Flash Builder releases. So um, this is a cross-platform solution. So this actually runs on the iPad, it runs on any Android device and, and any um, BlackBerry device as well. We've launched this. In, we've launched the new 1.1 version of this viewer in the Android market, and it's about to uh, go into the iOS market. It's a free viewer at the minute. We wanted to basically to start working with the uh, Esri um, ArcGIS um, Flex API and pour that onto mobile devices. So that's what we've done here. So we've already released one version, and there's an earlier video that talks about that. So we'll, we'll not go into the great deal of depth. Uh, um, we really wanted to talk about what's new in 1.1, but the guts of this are it's a fully interactive viewer. It's based on the Esri ArcGIS Flex viewer. Um, we've actually taken some widgets out of the existing uh, supported viewer and moved it into this. And we've written some ourselves. Um, we had a lot of feedback on our 1.0 release of this viewer. Um, lots of people wanted to the ability to add their own layers. We actually allowed people to add one layer in version um, 1.0, but this new version now allows people to to actually um, create their own configuration file, put it on their own server um, and then have the application load those layers. So we now support, um, not only do we support dynamic and tiled layers, ArcGIS layers, but um, most importantly, and this again, we've had feedback from users who want this, um, we've added shapefile support for this. Um, so you can load a shapefile in it and um, we've also added, um, which, is, which is amazing, I'll show it to you in a minute, um, the feature layers that are new to the 10.x version of ArcGIS. So um, we'll we'll walk through that right now. So here's the easy interface. There's actually a pop-up that comes up which asks, which you can't read it probably in the video, but it tells you if you want to know more about how you can upload, how you can set up a configuration file for this. Go to the instructions. So there's an instructions tab there, and that will give you all the details you need as to how you can uh, set up a configuration file and put it on your own web server and we've actually given you the ability just to grab one from our server and uh, edit that and add your own layers to it. So we've actually already got a URL in there to our, our server and to the, an XML file there. So by closing this window, um, what it does is it, it actually zooms to California and um, it adds layers to the, to the map. And you saw how quick that was. So what we did here is it, the configuration file also um, has a um, uh, initial uh, extent you can you can put in so it's, it's not it's an optional thing if it, if you don't do that it'll stay on the US but in this case we we wanted to zoom into California and as you saw the speed of loading there we actually loaded th uh, three layers there we la we loaded a dynamic weather layer which is the green in here and the blue um, we added a, a feature layer which is uh, the counties in California and we also added a shape file as well so uh, just to walk through the, the functionality, and I'm, I'm going to be doing this at a funny angle, so um, the, the finger gestures might be a bit weird. Um, so you can you can fully interact with it. Um, again, look at the performance of it. This is an air application, so people often talk about how the performance is. Well, you can see it's uh, it's it performs really really well. Um, so let's do the first thing. Let's just look at this feature layer. So let's uh, select one of the counties there, and as you can see, the the county is highlighted in in grey, and there's the name of the county, Mono, and then we've got a whole load of attributes that we've populated in this box, and it's actually a it's actually a, um, a scrollable list there. So we can very quickly see all the attributes in in any of these counties here. So the power of feature layers is is colossal. Um, but be warned, we tested it out with a lot, a lot of features, and it will slow the performance of the application. Not badly, but it will slow it, so just be aware of that. So let's just close that. Um, now, tapping has also allows us to, to zoom in. We, we've added the, the buttons for aerial and street. Again, look how quickly that loads, super quick. Um, let's go back to street. Um, and let's zoom out. So we've added some additional tools to this viewer from our original viewer. Um, 
So we've got the we've got a layers list now. We've cleaned that up so you can see there are four layers added. There's a shape file, there's a feature layer. In the configuration file, you you that this is actually taking the name that you put in there. So you can name these any which way you want. So in the configuration file, you've basically got to change the name and the endpoint of the of the um, of the layer, and this will load it. Um, we we've added to this one the ability to minimise that as well. So it gives us more screen real estate, which is a nice addition. Big button, so it's, it's easy to use with your finger close that we've got a full extent there we've got an about but let's pull the tools up now we've always had three tools in this we've had an overview of geocoder and a drawer we saw the geocoder was broken so we've actually fixed the geocoder so anyone that's got the 1.0 version of this um, the geocoder is now fixed we've cleaned up the draw tool as well so that's improved we've added a couple of other tools as well we've added a query tool that basically is going to query for state, so you could type any state there in there with an uppercase first let first letter, which will uh, change in 1.2. But in this one, it's you need an uppercase first letter. So let's just query it, and there it is. Again, look at the speed of it. Um, so we've we've highlighted uh, Nevada in this case, um, and we could do it for any other state as well. So let's go back. It actually clears that graphics layer as you do that. So. Um, um, that's part of the functionality and there's routing as well so what we've done is we've, we're using the, uh, the Flex API for, for um, ArcGIS and um, obviously this is Air but Air and, and Flex are brother and sister um, we've used that the, the routing API in there to, to add, add a route to this so we've got two, two points, one in Elko, one in, uh, one in Las Vegas, two addresses so if we do a get route you'll see the green for the origin, the red for the destination points, and then there's the route. Again, really quick, very cool. Um, we can zoom into this and take a look at it. Um, and there it is. Now we have added, we've added shape files. They're actually in the east, and I only, I only want to be quick on in, sh in showing you this. So the shape files have actually been added. Um, I'll do another demo which which shows you um, some shape files that are in Utah and in Nevada. So it's a, we can quickly show those. But shape files load really nicely in this. Um, so let's just go back, that clears that. So that's the viewer, it's a free download at the minute, so I encourage you to download it and try it out, let us know what you think. At the minute it's only in the Android, this 1.1 version is only in the Android and um, the Apple stores, we're going to push it out to Playbook in a week or so, um, so it'll be in the Blackberry store as well. So give us your feedback, tell us what you think. Uh, this is the only ArcGIS viewer, cr cross-platform viewer on the market at the minute. Um, Esri have got a widget which loads from uh, ArcGIS Online data, but this is the only native, well this is actually a hybrid um, application, but it's the, it's the only application which runs on multiple platforms on the device itself, so, um, so it's somewhat groundbreaking, but we really want people's feedback on what they think, anything you find that uh, doesn't work, anything you'd like to see added to it. Um, we're ultimately going to be building this for clients, so it will extend this, and, and that that'll be the paid-for model at this. So there will be a point where development on this viewer ends, um, but at the minute it's free. Go try it. Tell us what you think, and uh, we'd love your feedback. Thanks for watching.